Welcome to this video. Today we'll be covering how to FOIL. I'd like to start off with just a real simple example. Let's say I have 5 plus 3 and I want to multiply that by the value of 5 plus 6. Well that's easy because we know to do whatever's in the parentheses first so that simplifies to 8 times 11 which equals 88. But let's say we don't know that we're using 5. Let's say we're working with a number that we don't know, x plus 3 times x plus 6. Well that can be kind of confusing because since I can't add them together first, how do I multiply? Well this is the rule, you FOIL it and this is how to multiply uh, when you don't know a number and you want to go the first number times the first number then the first number times the second number and then you do the same thing with this number, the, fir the this number times the first number, this number times the second number, and you add them together. So I'm going to have x times x, x squared, and then plus x times 6, 6x, and then plus again 3 times x, and then plus again 3 times 6, 18. Does that make sense? x times x plus x times 6 plus x times 3 plus 3 times 6, 18. Now, I notice that I have an x here and an x here. You can combine terms uh, when that happens, as you know in algebra class. So x squared plus, and then I can just add the 6 and the 3x to make 9x plus 18. And that is a quadratic that we have made by foiling two terms together. Let's, um, let's talk about another one. How about x minus 4 times x plus 6? Well, first I'll do x times x plus x times 6 plus negative 4 times x plus negative 4 times 6. So I will say x squared x times x plus 6x plus negative 4x. I don't know what the best sign convention is when you're first learning. And plus negative 4 times 6 which is going to be negative 24. So now we combine like terms. I have x squared and I have plus 6x plus a negative 4x, that's plus 6x minus 4x plus 2x because 6 minus 4 is 2 minus 24 and you have a quadratic equation. I hope this video helps. Um, if I can break this down to be more simple or if you'd like another version or if you have a specific one that's bothering you, send me a message or leave a comment. You can uh, post your question to facebook.com slash engineering and otherwise I'll see you next time. Please remember to subscribe. That is the best way to help me if this video helps you. Have a good one.